All right, what's going on? We're looking at the diagram website today. Again, I want to look at this animation. We have the lorem ipsum to its magical wipe with the wand here following the mouse. So here's what we've got. This is my version of it. Boom, we're wiping, and it looks pretty good, I think. Uh, it's all built directly in Webflow. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start by looking at the structure of all the HTML in the navigator and a little bit of the styles, and then we'll hop into the interaction. Hey there, Webbay. Okay, so this is actually a pretty standard card setup. You can see up here, we have a div named card. Within there, we have card content. That's getting our little H2 and the P text. Uh, there's a fade here, which is actually just a gradient. Let's see what, what it looks like if I get rid of that. I'm actually gonna keep the fade hidden. That's from the last tutorial that we did. And now we have this card IX wrap. That is kind of where all of our interaction elements are going to be located. Within that, we have two children. We have the card lorem window and the card magical window. It's gonna be really important that we have these windows and then the text within the window. And I'll tell you why in just a second. And then we have our card wand area. So looking at these, the card wand area is just position absolute set to cover the full thing. And I just set the initial transforms at 50, 50. You don't actually even need that. You could just set it there because we're gonna set the initial transforms via the interactions anyways. But I think it looks nice in designer to have this right in the middle. So you know like, okay, this is the thing with the wand in the middle. Anyways, uh, and then we have our card alarm window and our card magical window. Now let's look at these. The main thing here is that we have overflow set to hidden on our card lorem window and position absolute. And then on card magical window, we just have overflow hidden. Now it's important that just one of these is position absolute because if they're both static or relative, then they're just gonna stack on top of each other like that, but we want them uh, layered on top of each other. So that's why we give one of them position absolute. And then within each one, the main thing is that we have the H2 here. I think they're actually using images or SVGs on the diagram.com website because on the mobile breakpoint, it goes to the text actually becomes shorter. And here we're just going to design it for desktop uh, breakpoint. And then I also have the stars SVG and a little particles container so we can get that nice particle effect. Uh, those won't be necessary to get this interaction correct, but I just wanna throw them in there to look fancy. Now, essentially what's going on, once we understand the concept behind this animation, I don't think it's too difficult. It's a little bit tricky though. So these are our window panes. Uh, so this would be the magical window and this would be the lorem window. And what we're doing is we're actually moving both elements, but it's magical and lorem ipsum are looking like they're static because we're moving two elements uh, relative to each other. So what's kind of going on is that we're pushing from negative 100% to 0%, which would be here. We're pushing the it's magical window. And when we push that, we would also expect the location of this it's magical, which we're offsetting by 100% within the interaction to go with it. However, we're actually just offsetting it in the reverse direction so that it ends up here. And then again, you push this, you would expect this to push as well. But since we're pushing it in the reverse by the same amount, it just looks completely static. And the effect that we get is that within the window, since it's overflow hidden, at this point, we would only see the word it and everything else here, you would not be able to see. And at the same time, we're doing the same thing, but in the other direction with lorem ipsum. So we're only seeing rem ipsum here, the LO is not showing. And as we're pushing this, we're just getting that effect. Oops, not that one. We're getting that effect of it's magical being revealed and lorem ipsum going away. And then we also have the wand right in the center. So that would be like this thing here, um, kind of hiding or covering this area right here. So let's hop into the interaction now. I think we get the gist of it and let's get started. So I'm gonna select the card element and select the interaction and we're gonna create a mouse move over element. And let's just do desktop and above for this one and we'll select an action to play a mouse animation. Now I have one follow here, but let's go ahead and create a new one. And the main, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna set the wand from something like zero to 100% on the X. So let's go ahead and select our card wand area and our initial move will be uh, 0% and it's going to go to, select down here, 100%. So that is good. And then the mouse Y will say, I think we had that at 50%. And we'll just vary it to something like 35%. Uh, that should shift it up a little bit. And so now we have our wand moving and kind of tracking our mouse a bit. And we could add some rotation and stuff to this. Uh, if you look at the wand follow interaction in the clonable that I drop, you'll see something maybe a little bit better than uh, what we'll just do for this tutorial here. Now let's start working with the it's magical and lorem ipsum. I'm gonna save that. And the first thing I'm gonna do is stars SVG and particle container. I'm gonna hide because we don't wanna move those yet. And I wanna really just display what we're showing here. So let's go back to the card interaction and it's the mouse move over element and let's give it a name. 
wand follow and we'll just say video because this is the video we're recording. Okay, now let's do those sliding window effects. So I know I want the card lorem window. Actually, let's start with the card magical window to start out at negative 100%. So we will move that to negative 100%. And you can see that it's, ma that it's magical has gone with it, right? And at the end or the final X position, we want that to be moved to 0% so that all of its magical is shown. However, the H2 within its magical, we need to now shift that, right? So that's going to be shifted 100%. So we'll shift that 100% on the X. And it's not visible because the window is off to the left, right? But we shifted it. The H2 is actually relative to the card magical window. That's its parent. So let's add the move back to then 0%. You can see it's all the way over here. But when the wand is at 100%, we want its magical to be fully visible. So that's 0%. And let's kind of check out live preview and see what we get. We can see we get its magical starting to be revealed over lorem ipsum. And so all we have to do now is the opposite over lorem ipsum. So let me go. I'll get the card window. And remember, this is in the opposite, so we're going to start at positive 100%. So it shifts over that far. And the final move is going to be at 0%, back to its original place. And the H2 within there, we have to start the, oops, not scale. We have to start the move from negative 100%, because we want that to be fully kind of showing, or the thing that would show. And we'll move that to 0%. And if I turn on live preview now, oh, I went in the wrong direction. You can see it's kind of easy to get screwed up with this. So let's go ahead and double check what we've got. So the card lorem window, we want, uh, we're shifting that from 100 to 0. And that's not quite what we want. So the card lorem window, we actually want to start at 0%. And we want that to go to 100%. And for the H2 within card lorem window, not from negative 100 to 0, we want to go from 0 to negative 100%. Okay, and now with live preview on, we can see as we're moving the wand, it's kind of scrubbing, its magical is revealing, and lorem ipsum is going away. Now, something to consider here is that our wand is relative to the whole card input, and its magical and ipsum, they are just relative to themselves or that container within the padding. I think I have two rem of padding on the card. So a quick little easy thing we could do to fix that is just take card wand area. And rather than going all the way to 100%, just take this to like 90%. And our differences should be much better now. So we can see it's all looking really smooth, whereas before there was kind of an offset there. So we fixed that little issue. And now if we just want to do for the stars SVG and particles container, we can turn those off, those display nuns off. And the particles container is actually using some JavaScript, a JavaScript library called particles.js, which you'll find in the page settings, all the setup for that. And so you won't actually see it until the published page is revealed. But we're going to do the exact same thing that we did with its lorem, but we'll do that for the particles. So let's go ahead into the card here. And we're back in the interaction. Let's open the gear icon. And so stars SVG, just so I don't get it wrong this time, card lorem window. Uh, is not the one that we want to mimic. mimic. We want to mimic the H2, and that's going from 0 to negative 100. So stars SVG will create a move from 0% and to negative 100%. And the same thing for particles container. We will move it from 0% and then to negative 100%. And save that. And I'm going to set the initial X kind of to like, I don't know, 10%. That means that the wand will be over here. So uh, you can see if I hit preview, the wand actually comes all the way over. I think even 10% is too much, maybe five. Yep, so that's good. We kind of want the wand to be at the ready. And then the initial Y, we can put it maybe 40, so it's a little bit higher. And then when we bring the mouse in from the left, it looks good. But it'll still pick up kind of wherever we're at. So that's looking good. Let's just publish to make sure that we got the dazzling particles and I can leave you with a wonderful interaction. All right, and there you have it. We've got our nice smooth wand wipe. I don't know what I'm gonna call this. I'll probably call it like double window slide or something fancy like that. Uh, but really unique and fun little animation and nice little trick to have under your sleeve. Anyways, uh, if you liked the video, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.